Hi guys, welcome back to this best rank. In this video, we're going to start a new series on Python uh, graphical user interface programming. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off with, you have to understand a little bit about the differences between GUI programming and regular programming. Okay, so or console-based programming. So in GUI programming, it is event-driven, which means that instead of having a program that is prompting the user, hey, enter this, or hey, do this, or hey, do that, you know, asking you, enter your age, or enter two numbers, and then give me an operation, or, or whatever. Uh, the console is driving the program, right? That's probably what you've been used to up to this point. But with GUI programming, it's different. And what happens is you're presented with a graphical user interface, and the program is waiting for the user to do something, drive the conversation click a button, hit a slider, hit a checkbox, you know, whatever. And um, so this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to learn how to do in Python, at least at a beginning level. Okay, so in order uh, for this to work, we're going to have to use the tkinter module, and we're going to have to put together and learn how to use these things called widgets. And widgets are just entities that make up the user interface. So a main window is a widget, a button is a widget, a slider is a widget, a checkbox is a widget, a frame is a widget. And so we're gonna learn about all of those things in this series and how to use them to put together a uh, graphic user interface application, right? one that uses a GUI instead of a command line. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. So I've got my Visual Studio all set up and ready to go. And so what we need is we need to start off by importing the tkinter module. Okay, so tkinter got the code for the buttons, got the code for the um, checkboxes, for the windows, for the frames, all that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and define a main function to start off with. And then we'll, um, you know, call it. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, start off by creating a variable. We'll call it main window. And then we'll assign it a reference to an object that will get created when we invoke the uh, TK function that is located in the tkinter module. And then we have to start the main loop, okay? Or another way of thinking of it is the main thread that's monitoring your application, trying to detect or waiting to detect, or that will be responsible for detecting button clicks, sliders, you know, you name it, the events, okay? The interactions that the user makes with the window. So to do that, we'll say main window dot main loop, okay? So now let's go ahead and test it. And if everything works, then we should see uh, the window up here. There it is in the upper right hand corner. And you can see TK is the default of the title bar. Now we're going to see how to change all of that stuff. Uh, the, the title up here, the, the different buttons, how to make drop down windows, you know, all of that stuff. Uh, we're going to see how to do, you know, like that, utilize all of these things and put stuff in here. We're going to see how to do all of that. Uh, stuff. Okay, so let's go back and um, do the first thing. Let's go ahead and change the uh, title. And to do that, we're going to um, invoke uh, a method called um, title, believe it or not. So main window dot title. And we'll do something like um, uh, my GUI, right? Or uh, I think I called this uh, file pi demo, right? So we'll call it uh, pi demo. Okay. Let's go ahead and run that. Okay. Now, if you take a look, let me stretch stretch that a little bit. If you take a look in file bar. See how it's changed to pi demo. So that is the very, 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 very beginning of, of what we're talking about. So what we did is we created a window and we set its title, okay? Now, 
if we want to display some text within our window, then what we have to do is we have to um, use a widget, right? A new widget, which we're going to uh, call label, okay? Or the, which we'll or if assign to a variable that we'll call label. So let's go ahead and stop this and we'll say label equals what? Well, we're gonna have to go into the tkinter module, right? And uh, from there, what we'll do is we will uh, call the label function. Okay, so label, and we're gonna pass it a couple of arguments, okay? So what are those arguments? Well, the first argument is going to be a reference to where this new label widget should go, what it should be attached to. In this case, all we have is our main window, so we'll attach it right to that. And then we'll need another argument, um, which is the text that we want to display. So the first argument is going to be uh, main window. That's where the label is going to be. And then the second one is going to be the text, okay? What we want to actually display on the window, okay? And you'll notice that um, we're putting that all in front of the main window dot main loop because this is what starts the GUI actually executing. So we have to have everything uh, before that call to main loop, okay? Now, there's one more thing that we have to do, okay? So this right here, you know, creates the object and puts a reference to label, but then we have to do one more thing. We have to invoke a method called pack, okay? And so that pack method says, okay, um, you know, activate, I'll make it so number one. Okay, so let's go ahead now and see what we got. Okay, so now you can see, I'll resize this so you can see it better. You can see that we've got that hello world sitting there. You know, on our Pi demo, there's the first label. And so what we see now are the basics of what goes into getting started, okay? So we can create our GUI app, we can modify some of its attributes, and we can add a widget to the window widget. So in following videos, we'll learn how to use frame widgets to organize our UI interface, and we'll learn about all the different other types of widgets that are available in tkinter. There's, uh, I think, 15 total widgets. There's sliders, text boxes, buttons. You see the label here. We'll look at all the different attributes for um, dealing with the, the window, and we'll look at uh, different ways of, you know, all the different attributes for labels and all the other different types of um, widgets. So it's gonna be fun, and we'll learn how to deal with events and write methods for responding to button clicks and all that sort of thing to get the uh, GUI apps to do stuff that is interesting. And um, I hope you'll I hope you'll tune in. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be it's a little bit of a review for me because I haven't done Python GUI programming in, in a while, and so I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Teach this in in, a, in this online format. So I hope that you'll you'll tune in. So that's everything that I got for you in this video. As usual, if you are a student of mine, um, feel free to stop by my office hours or shoot me an email with any questions that you have. Otherwise, um, if you're not a student of mine, please feel free. If you thought the video was useful, give it a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, well, you've got that thumbs down button there as well. Please leave a comment. Really love reading your comments. Please consider supporting the channel in various ways. We've got memberships with additional perks for as low as 99 cents a month. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to get notified of when the latest videos are happening. Hey, we got super thanks too. Or like I said before, just leave a comment. You know, really appreciate uh, you guys tuning in. So that's all I got for you this this time. We'll see you next time for the next video in the series. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.